Oh. You want to touch? Okay. Is he happy? Hop, 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 hop. Hop, hop, hop. Oh! You want? You want? That's so funny. You can dance. You can dance if you want to. That's the eagle. That's an eagle. 
The bad what eagle. What are these? Parrots. They're like the ones that live in Oceanside. Where? <laughs> Look at the birds. It's talking. Look. Tweet, tweet, tweet. can go through. Mm -hmm. Go through. It's like a pyramid. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Go. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> 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 like the jungle. It's a party. Hey, out there. We will focus on the Savannah Hub. It's one of the eight hub great regions of the Zoo Wildlife Alliance. Kind of how about the people, plants, and of course the animals of those regions. We're looking out to the driver's side. It's probably already spotted some of our Savannah species. This is our East African habitat. We'll come back this way a little later. The adaptation. So you can see a lot of them grazing away. Looks like our wildlife care specialist team put out some extra hay for them. Spend a lot of time eating to maintain that body weight. It's pretty easy to spot them on the shoreline there. They're not really blending into anything. That's because they are birds, of course. They have to get the flight. Just to here. All of the resources in space much more inclined to become parents. But more space, so you can sometimes that'll work out for a boat. Yellow-billed stork will dart that bill into the water, grab the fish. It's a very effective fishing tool there. But not the only birds in here. If you see any vultures, 
you might see a lack of face culture. They're an all black bird with a red face. Southern white rhino. We do have browsers as well. And it like the branches, the leaves up in the tree. Like our sombering gazelle on the passenger side. One of the many antelope we're going to see on tour today. And aren't we? But they're mostly tan on their top half. That's their camouflage. Help blend into those tan grasses and the sands and dirt to their environment. Of course, they have nothing to fear here. There are no predators out here with everyone else. A lot of the animals, we still get to see natural behaviors because they think predators are right around the corner. They don't know the cheetah and the lion have their own separate areas. So looking out to the driver's side, we've got a few different species of antelope. The ones closest to us, though, sitting down, are sable antelope. It may look like they're not really doing much, but that's a very natural behavior. You have to notice how the sable antelope are sitting together, sitting in a circle. Everyone's facing out in a different direction. This is called an alert circle, and for good reason. We have a 360 view of their environment, making sure no predators can sneak up on them. And while the adults there, adult females, have those long horns that curve back about 40 inches long, we'll spot some little ones down there as well. Some tanner coats with smaller horns, just some young babies. Not quite as large yet, so they're going to hide behind their mom in that alert circle. This is the safest place for them. We have some variety out here as well. The sable ants are pretty large sized ants, but they're kind of in the middle of the two that we're seeing just past the dirt road. The larger species out on the dirt road, those are... I'm hoping you said the spring buck. They need to be. They don't have that size like the eland to defend themselves. The eland run about 25 miles an hour, maybe 30 miles an hour. The spring buck runs 55 miles an hour. Top speed is how they're going to evade those predators. One of the faster animals we're going to see on our tour today. But that's on land, of course. Some animals are a little quicker in the water. Over on the driver's side, you're going to see some shaggy brown coats of our lips and water buck lady. Hanging out in the dirt area here. Just by the tricks of your sleeve, like our water buck here, and the wetsuit-like coat. Really the best defense, though, is to not even come in contact with predators. Helps be very tall. Spot them before they even spot you. Of course, talking about the world's largest land mammal. Oh, wow. We've got our Maasai giraffe. Looks like our wildlife here specials out here providing some extra treats for them. Really appreciate that. Let's stop and see what they're up to. Let's go to look. Some of our adults here are upwards of 18. Now, Shemaine looks pretty small out there. She was born at 6 feet tall, taller than many of us on the train here. And she is well into the 7 foot, 8 foot, probably closer to the 9 foot range now. <laughs> it's always good to see our wildlife care specialists putting out those extra brows for our giraffe. Not only do they think it's delicious, but also our animal care team here needs a closer look at our giraffe. Or is trying to check them out, making sure there are no abnormal staff. We have a great animal care team trying to make sure we catch things before they become an issue. And that's Pelican Island, give you some sense of how far we've already traveled. I'd like to mention on the passenger side, we have our African forest habitat. The savannah species hang out in that forest area here. Same coat. That greater cootie. Group of young males down there. Gray coat with some white stripes. Think of the white stripes as extra credit. Helps them blend in, helps their camouflage. It breaks up their silhouette, makes it a little harder to spot them in the distance. Ravi zebra are the largest and most endangered species of zebra. And while we know and love them for those black and white stripes, they serve a greater purpose in the wild. If you were to, say, look at your thumb, you have a unique thumbprint. No two thumbs are exactly.
change it, change it. Inside of me, in this sense that I can look at you with love, seeing all that I can learn. Can you stay, and I will grow. 